This is the incredible Ursula animatronic when it was being built. The scene in Journey of the Little Mermaid is based off the original animation and is supposed to look like this. But sometimes Disney animatronics break down and that is what Mr. Disney Fan Man caught on camera. Much to the dismay of guests, Ursula's head is off and she continues her song. Everyone loves to watch the parades full of characters, but with all of the fast moving action and vehicles there is bound to be an accident. Like when Elastigirl runs over this character's feet and gets stuck. Cast members rush over to help and finally set her free. Characters can even have some fails of their own. Girl power! Oh, oh, oh. Elastigirl just isn't having a good day. And sometimes rides stop because of humans doing things like jumping off of them. On Lily Beyond Borders vlog, they captured a guy jumping out for his cell phone. Oh, well, at least he apologized. With parks as big as Disney, something is bound to go wrong. So join me today as we explore a top 10 Disney fails, malfunctions, and shows gone wrong. The Tower of Terror is a fan favorite with its many special effects and heart-pounding drops. But sometimes the ride malfunctions and comes to a complete halt. This clip filmed by Daniel Mitchell shows what it's like to break down inside the Tower of Terror. They sat on the ride for over 30 minutes before cast members came to the rescue. Hello everyone! They had to step out on a step stool and then got a look at the attraction with the lights completely on. A very rare occurrence for someone to experience. Have you ever had this happen? Let me know in the comments. Paparazzi Mike was filming on the ride when he noticed Ariel wasn't singing. No! This is weird, she's not... What is this? This is cool. Oh, we can stop right there. I've seen a lot of malfunctions on this area lately, but maybe this time Ursula just stole her voice again. <laughs> it's a Small World has entertained guests at Disney for many years, and let's face it, there's just something creepy and unsettling about the ride. DisneyGeek.com got to experience a creepy moment as the dolls were not operating and sat still. Why does this feel like the beginning to a horror movie? Imagine you are in the Magic Kingdom taking in the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Everything is going great and all of a sudden smoke starts to fill the sky. You look up and the dragon is completely on fire. Cast members quickly rushed in and extinguished the fire and no one was hurt. But maybe we're onto something. Is this a new way to slay a dragon? Executing a parade can be tough. There are a lot of moving parts, including when you use live animals. This video shot by Bill Zanetti shows how careful you have to be when working with large animals. The horse got a Mickey balloon wrapped around her legs and got very startled. Merida found a way to get off the horse quickly, and thankfully the animal handlers were very close by and managed to calm her down and cut the balloon free. The Haunted Mansion is a day one opening ride and loved by millions around the world. It is incredibly dark with a lot of effects and spooky secrets that can only be seen when the lights come on. WDWNT and Jake Anderson both got to experience this as ride lights came on during the seance scene and they got a peek at how it all worked. I thought it was very neat that there is a work area just down in the darkness. I wonder what other secrets would be throughout the ride. Stunt shows have been a part of live entertainment at Disney forever. The actors are top notch, but sometimes there are malfunctions. This one made me hold my breath. In the fight scene, they use a live prop plane with spinning propellers. The plane does a full circle and the propeller comes at the head of the stunt actor. Normally a trap door is supposed to open underneath him and escape him to safety, like in this clip. But as actual factual magic captured on camera, sometimes it can get pretty dangerous. Don't worry, they plan for this and have the propellers made out of foam or some other breakable substance in case of a pinch. See? He's okay! Oh! What? Whoa! Whoa! 
Pirates of the Caribbean needs no introduction. You venture through towns with pirate fights and rum auctions, but what if you got stuck on the ride for over an hour? That happened to the Craniac vlog. I've always wondered what happens when a boat ride breaks down. Oh, oh, there's, oh there's, there's, there's. We're locked. <laughs> They're getting in the water. A cast member can be seen making his way through the water in his hip waders on his way to the boat to help them evacuate and walk out getting a good look at everything going on. While I would love to see Pirates of the Caribbean in the light, I don't think I would want to spend an hour of my park day doing so. Character costumes are bound to have issues. In 2010 on a Disney cruise, Mickey had a little accident. He immediately covers it up and makes his exit. Maybe he could be a pirate on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride now. All right, now it's time for a montage. Here are some other characters falling. Finally in this clip something bizarre happened. I read that Pluto had his tail pulled by the child and then Pluto started chasing him. Pluto can be seen chasing a kid and guests have to stop in and save him. I'm guessing Pluto needed to have a rest after this as he wasn't quite feeling himself. Now these aren't the only bizarre things going on in Disney. There have been ghost sightings and unexplained events that you can check out in this next video. See you next time pal.